it's me, Danny Star. It was another interesting week in Hollywood, so it's only right that we take a look back on what happened. Despite being busted for musical contraband, Lil Wayne was released from jail, only serving eight months of his original sentence. And the Young Money crew went crazy. Drake tweeted out how excited he was that it was one of the best nights of his life, his best friend was home, and get ready, hip-hop community, because Lil Wayne is going to take over. Good thing he's had Young Money to stick around and keep things in order while he's been away. But Lil Wayne is back, and we're ready. President Bush is out promoting his book, so he sat down with Matt Lauer and said a few interesting things. The most interesting was that one of the most disgusting moments of his presidency was when Kanye West said that he did not care about black people, pretty much calling him racist. Now that was super interesting to Matt Lauer and pretty much the whole rest of the world because one of the most disgusting moments for all of us was of course Hurricane Katrina. Now shockingly enough, Kanye West came out and said that he actually understood where President Bush was coming from. Um, that's probably because Kanye West was also referred to as a racist after the whole Taylor Swift debacle. It's good to see that Kanye West has finally grown up, and it's interesting to see where President Bush's mind is still at. It was a huge week on the Ellen DeGeneres show. First, Mariah Carey shows up, and she's promoting her new Christmas album, but more than that, she's all baby talk, and it's finally out. It's out in the open, the cat is out of the bag, and she's super excited, so she's all talking about this baby, and it's awesome that she's finally allowed to actually say something about it. Now, Ellen and her joked about her waiting to find out the sex of the baby, and honestly, we're with Ellen on this one. We don't think she's gonna be able to wait. Now get this, Taylor Swift also shows up on The Ellen Show and Ellen grills her on her love life right now. A little bit of John Mayer, a little bit of Jake Gyllenhaal, and things get super interesting. If you're an Ellen fan, this was a great week for you to watch The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Are you ready for some football? Well, if you're a Minnesota Vikings fan, you're kind of probably over football. Let's talk Brett Childress. What's going on? Brett Favre. Uh, and now you're mourning the loss of Randy Moss. After only a couple games and a few weeks on the Minnesota Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings waved Randy Moss, pretty much firing him. Now don't get me wrong, Randy Moss is a handful and there's been nothing but drama since he joined the Minnesota Vikings. But what that has caused in Minnesota is a fire Brad Children's campaign. This is going to get interesting, people. As all the details come out, we will surely keep you updated. I'm Danny Star, and there are so many more stories, and they're only a click away. www.bittenandbound.com, showing you the not-so-pretty side of Hollywood.